there. Belly up. You saw the white side. Look at him, there he is. Tail slap. There's a whale. Around its surface. These guys can be 45 feet long, 80,000 pounds. 45 feet long, 80,000 pounds. Come on we'll back up again, buddy. Morning. But, uh, uh, soak this in, guys. We're going to be kind of turning towards Molokini shortly. And um, I want to make the optical lenses available as well. So if anybody's nearsighted, I wear my contacts. You can just use our regular mask. We have six, so come on up right now for optical lenses. Everybody else try and you do it if you get time. Um, and make there sure it fits. Awesome. That's but please don't, don't the wear fin. your pins on deck. If it fits, take your pins off right away. We don't want anybody walking around like that. Oh, it's bumpy. It's hard to... There he is. Oh, look at that. Got him. Yeah. Got it. Oh, there he is. That's awesome. This is blow hole. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Oh, wow. That's cool. Comebacks are huge. Very cool. <laughs> this is the island of Malakini, the crater. You can see the uh, number of boats. People out there snorkeling. But what we're about to go do. Thomas is all ready. Ready to jump in the water, big guy? Kind of. Okay. We're now at a place that they call Dragon's Teeth at Makalua Puna Point. The rock formations here over time have been beaten by the waters. And I'll zoom in. They, the reason it's called Dragon's Teeth is you can look down by those tourists. The rocks have uh, formed in the shape of what looks like teeth. The surf down here is extremely high. The waves crash into those rocks. Hopefully we'll get a good look of one of those crashes while I'm filming here. Lava rocks. These are all lava rocks. There you can kind of see it. Really treacherous looking terrain here. So we're going to be proceed with caution. There's a good splash. Pretty powerful waves down there. More from Dragon's Teeth. You can see a wave come into this cove here. Rides along the edge, crashes hard into the rocks, and then goes into this cave inlet, which I would love to get down and explore. It's far too dangerous. You walk over to the edge of the formation here. I'm going to hold the camera out. It's a, a straight drop. Certain death right off the edge of the cliff. Extremely cool. And then I look down here, I'm going to see if we can pick this up. All those things there, sea urchins. And if you can tell right now, it's kind of a far shot, but those are sea urchins clinging onto the rocks. Very cool. And then over there, there's Chris and Thomas looking over the edge of the cliff. Absolutely beautiful spot. I my breakfast. Why don't you recap your breakfast for us? Ugh. This had the all you can eat breakfast buffet. On my first plate, I had three sausage patties, two chunks of Portuguese sausage, eight pieces of bacon, a pile of scrambled eggs and a, what do you call those things, potato cakes. On my second plate I had a second pile of scrambled eggs along with two pieces of French toast covered in brown sugar, syrup, yogurt, and strawberries. That was the bomb. That was so full I can't eat another bite. I can't eat another bite. Would you like a wafer thin mint? Fuck off. I said I can't eat another bite. Uh, food coma. 
Seven salute. Can't raise my hand up. <laughs> it's the fat man salute. Uh, down there is the Nakalele blowhole that we're headed to. Before we get down there, I wanted to show all these cool little rock formations in this valley. Little stacks of rocks everywhere. Not really sure what these are, but you see them all over the place. We should ask somebody. Little stacks of rocks. There's another one. They're all over the place. And then if you look way up there, there's a couple of big ones. Very cool. Even up on the top of the cliff. I don't know if I can get that or not. Yeah, there they are. There's one over there on that cliff. Really cool. Some more. Okay, down to the blowhole. Alright, this is the Nakalele blowhole. I'm just gonna stand here for a minute and see if we can't get her to blow. Looking for a great big blow job here. There's a little tiny spray. Now that wasn't real excited. Sometimes it's supposed to uh, get up to 70 feet high, but that's when there's high surf and high tide, right? Yeah. Kabam! There's some, there, there's a crab I found over there. It's really alive. Pretty cool. Some little fish swimming around in the pools around it. Cool. Just gonna wait for some more here. Wait for another one to come in. Must be a cave underneath here that causes that suction. Not much to write about there. Just a small one, I guess. Well, we got one on there, so we'll let it leave it be at that. That right there in the tide pool right next to the blowhole is a blenny. A gigantic blenny. He's got to be seven or eight inches long. I'm risking getting absolutely blasted by the blowhole right here. But I also want to pan over here and show you underneath this rock. Assuming he doesn't move, where are you, buddy? There he is. Look at that. Gigantic crab. Come on out, come on out. Nice. These crabs are extremely skittish. If I move even a little bit, he's gonna, he's gonna take off. Look at that, how cool is that? That is a cool looking crab. Hear the rumbling of that blowhole. Now watch, I'm gonna move quickly and you'll see how quick this guy vanishes. Hard to move and hold the camera steady. But... Oh, and there's another one right there. Where is he? Where's the other one? Ah, I'm gonna get toasted here. Zoom out. There he is. Yeah, I had just about enough. Okay.